Life of a door knocker can be tough. Having doors slammed in your face on a daily basis. People not exactly hearing what you have to say. Eh, uh, what? Not the most friendly customer. Not interested. Now get the f*** off my property. And by the way, go get a real job. The good news is, it doesn't have to be that way. Welcome to the Door to Door Mastery Podcast, where it's all about increasing your confidence, building rapport with your customers, and closing more sales. Here is your host, Paul Shakuri. Door to Door Mastery fans, what's up, man? It is episode number 14 here on the Sunday broadcast. I'm excited and pumped to bring you this episode because today we're talking about today you're closing your first sale of the day. You're going out there. You're closing it. I'm getting you pumped. I'm getting you excited. I'm showing you how exactly you're going to go out there and close your freaking sale today. Not tomorrow, not maybe, but you're going out there and you're getting your sale. Whether you're listening to this on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I do not care whether it's in 2014, whether it's in 2013, whether it's in, well, you can't quite listen to this in the past, but 2015, 16, 17, 18, the year 2020, I do not care. It doesn't matter what the excuse is. You're going out there and you're closing a sale today. Why? Because this is what it takes to go out and guarantee yourself that you're going to close a sale. This attitude, this mentality, the proper knowledge and getting out there and going and getting the job done. I hope this motivates you. I hope this excites you. I hope this pumps you up because I care about your success because I cared about my success and my family's success. And that's all I care about on a day-to-day basis. So if you want to learn how to create the next, uh, build a house, get off this podcast. I don't know how to teach you how to build a house. You want to learn how to put up a frame or put up the TV that's behind me in the background here that we are, my team and I ever play PlayStation on every now and then, I will not be able to teach you how to hang that freaking TV. But if you want to learn how to close sales selling door to door, if you want to learn how to be an entrepreneur and really take on the level of success that you ever so desire, that's what this entrepreneur adrenaline show and the door to door mastery show is all about. Yes, I am. I am the, the, the host of two entrepreneur shows. Door to door mastery show is all about being an entrepreneur. You got to, you got to really focus on getting yourself out there and getting the job done. The entrepreneur adrenaline shows the same thing. So how do you take yourself and, you know, tell yourself that you're going to go out there and get a sale. You got to get excited. You got to light that fire under that butt of yours. Light that fire. Get excited. Listen to this podcast. Take action. If you're not doing your research and your homework, guys and gals, this day and age, you have the internet just waiting for you, just just waiting for you to go out there and and collect the information. Frick, I've even made it so easy at doortodoormastery.com, this podcast, videos on YouTube, everything you need to succeed. My membership area if you want the extreme details because I personally believe so many educators and teachers out there, they tell you the general gist of everything, but they don't zone in on the details because it's a lot of work and efforts. And I believe, you know, people who actually teach you the details, they deserve to get paid and compensated for that. Heck, they put so much time and effort into learning and mastering it themselves. Give them, throw them a freaking bone here or two, one or two here or there. You know, that's why I put the door-to-door mastery membership area, um, you know, so that people can actually purchase it. It can make me wealthier. It can make you wealthier. But for those people who are serious, those are the ones who are going to take themselves to that next level in doing door-to-door sales, okay? Can you become successful listening and reading, listening to the podcast, you know, and, and reading all the blog posts that I have? Absolutely you can. I'm not here trying to just make a sale. I'd love to. I'd love to make sales. As a matter of fact, I'm getting more and more people every single day taking me up in that door-to-door membership uh, membership area and are thanking me for it and are actually teaching me, wa- telling me ways that I can add to it and I'm, I'm adding to it, but I, I can't go out there and knock on doors for you and so many of you are, are thinking that that's how it is. Paul, can you just show me how to knock on a door, please? Can you please show me? I've gone out with many door knockers. 
showed them within one to maximum three doors how simple it is for me to close a sale, only for these people to do it for a week and then they fall off the face of the earth. I was talking to a large monitoring station um, just yesterday. I'm not bringing any names up, so don't worry. Um, but a large monitoring station, large a- and employees over there who I know personally, and they were telling me, they're like, Paul, it's amazing. I can go out there and teach a team or an actual office how to go out there and close sales. But the second we leave, a week later, they're back down to normal, their volume. Why? Why is that? Very important you guys understand why that is. Why is it with you? Have you ever been trained, did very well for a week, and then you went back to your original uh, sales volume that you normally produce? Why is that? Guess what? Today, we're going to break down and uncover what it's going to take for you to go out there and close that sale. I hope you're listening to this before you get out on turf because part of my process requires you to pump yourself up, excite yourself, prepare for your day, be ready, feel great because when you feel great and you know in the back of your mind, I don't care if you're one day new or you're five weeks old into this door-to-door sales or you've been doing it for six months, a year, two years. Okay, I've seen people who have been doing this for 10 years and they go out a whole week and they can't close a sale because it's all in the freaking mind. Sales is all about the transfer of energy and emotion. When you're excited to get out there and go get it done, Paul, is it rocket science, you know, in order to do door to door sales? It feels like it is because I can't close a sale. It's all in your mind. If you tell yourself you don't know how to close a sale, you don't know how to communicate with others, well, guess what? That's what you're going to present yourself when you're pitching at the doors. So I'm here to teach you and educate you how to give you the proper knowledge. You don't need the knowledge to go out and close a sale. I'm here to tell you that. You don't need any of this information to go out and close a sale. You need this information to learn how to close a thousand sales in a, in a year. That's what you need this information for. But to go out there and close a sale, you don't need any information. You need excitement. You need a fire under your rear to get out there and go and get it done. Go hunt for your sale, okay? That's what it's going to take to close one sale a day. I'm going to hunt. But imagine if you have that mentality of I'm going to go and hunt for my sale. No matter what, I'm going to find my sale today. But on top of it, you have the proper education. But bam that's the recipe for door-to-door mastery. Paul, you're, you sound like a crazy psycho. That's what people tell me, but I love it. I'm super excited. I'm pumped to go out there and get a sale. Frick, let me get off this podcast and go and write a sale out there right now. Is that what it's going to take for you to get to light that fire under your, your ace? Well, I don't care what it takes. I'm here to do it, and I'm here in the long run, and I'm here to build a list of door-to-door salespeople that want to close sales selling door-to-door. DoorToDoorMastery.com, your source of motivation, information, and inspiration to closing more sales. Selling door to door, that's DoorToDoorMastery.com. Confidence, motivation, inspiration, perspiration, you name it. I hope you're listening to this and I'm lighting a fire under your rear because that's what my whole purpose was to start this podcast. I woke up this morning and uh, I have a list of podcasts I'm, I'm creating, but I, I put this in advance because I said, we need a kick. We need a kickstart to your career. So many of you guys are emailing me saying, thank you. As a matter of fact, today I've gotten three. Today, just today, I've gotten three saying, Paul, I've actually learned and tried out your methods a couple and I didn't master it, but you know what? I use a couple of things and I've already gotten my first sale. Thank you so much. The membership area was extremely helpful and is extremely helpful. Well, guess what? I respond to them. Congratulations. Don't get too cocky. Jump back in there and watch the videos times 10. Watch it times a hundred, hundred times over. Why? Because when you do that, you get a sale, you go back and you realize, oh my God, there's so many other things I could be doing. Well, that's how you actually get to closing more and more sales. I'm thinking of coming up with a domain, uh, which is like door to door, whatever it is, uh, just for the program itself so I can easily give you access to it. You know, as of right now, I mean, in order to get into it, if you want to get into the members area, you go to door to door mastery.com and then on the right side, I have an actual, uh, uh, an, uh, what do you call this an image that's called learn how to sell a big two in red and then door-to-door training so that's what it is right now on the right hand side click that go there and uh, join it's cheap man it's I hate saying cheap never say cheap I just caught myself in an an actual screw up that if I were pitching at a door I would just move on and say yeah you know uh, like I said it's extremely inexpensive you just move forward. What you say, if I didn't point it out to you, and there's a reason why I pointed it out to you, because I'm teaching you guys how to sell. I'm not freaking trying to sell you guys, although obviously in the back end, I really am. I really want you guys to push you guys to this membership area because, again, 
I would not sell anything I don't stick behind. I know it's going to help you close a ton more sales so long as you learn and implement it. I can't teach you how to knock on doors without you actually going and implementing the teachings. I can only teach it to you. Anyways, you go there, you, you subscribe, you get signed up and whatever. I mean, it's inexpensive. Next, underneath that, there's freaking subscribe with iTunes. If you have an iDevice, an iMac, an iPhone, uh, an whatever i Okay, stop being lazy, get your ace out there, go and subscribe on iTunes and freaking rate the dang show. I need more ratings, I need more ratings. I can't say that more and more. I'm gonna continue till we're in the hundreds. We're door knockers, we stick together. I need you guys to go there and freaking rate the show as uh, however you think that I, I do. Uh, you know, I, I'm coming out strong today because bam, bam, bam. It's about pumping yourself up. It's about motivating. It's about exciting. It's about excitement, excitement, excitement to go out there and close a sale. I hope your, your adrenaline right now is just rushing. It's like, Paul, stop this podcast. Throw me on turf, I wanna get a sale. Okay? Mentally, that's how I, I, I pump myself up every single day. I don't scream and get all excited like this when I'm pitching. You know, so now I've, I've, I've done this from the morning. And now I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm waiting for, for my, my, my manager meeting to be done, let's just say, if when I was a salesperson. I'm like excited. I'm like, hey, hey, hi, Mr. So-and-so. You're the homeowner here, right? Yeah, a quick question. Uh, a lot of your neighbors have been complaining about the speed bumps, if that's what's been going on in that neighborhood. Um, you know, have you had any issues too? Uh, yeah, you know, those guys and blah, 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 they keep speeding. Yeah, quick question. Uh, also the alarm signs have you have you mentioned or seen a lot of those and I'll go into it uh, sorry what is it you're doing curiosity off the bat we're moving forward we're getting our sale first door first knock is, is your your the most utmost energy you use okay use a hundred percent of your your potential why because don't say you need to burn a couple doors in order to move in that means you didn't prepare for your freaking day you're not learning you're not teaching you're not sorry you're not implementing what you're learning from the door-to-door -door mastery podcast Okay, from the actual door-to-door -door mastery blog. I teach you guys this because this is what works. And I can't stand, I've been to so many, so many manager meetings from people who talk like so persuasive and, oh yeah, and what you say is you stand at a 95 degree angle and at this 95 degree angle, you look here, you say, hi, are you the homeowner? Then you turn, look, Look, any top level executive salesperson, you name it, would actually tell you it takes getting excited to going out there and doing it. It's not what you're saying, okay? It's how you're presenting yourself. Okay, this, this flow of like what to say. Paul, what do you say in your pitch? That has nothing to do with closing a sale, okay? You know in general what your people in your office, whatever it is you're selling, are saying. But what they're doing that you're not is they're pushing forward. And they're not pushing forward forward through the sale in a rude way, they're guiding themselves through the actual sale. And when they guide themselves through the sale, when they guide the customers to the end result, that's how you sell today in this day and age, in our new generation, okay? Excuse me, this generation is completely different than the old gen other generation, okay? They really are. We're, we're different breed. You know, we're a different breed of people. Selling has changed. And until you learn how to adapt to that and you learn how you can actually master that, you're not going to master door-to-door -door sales. But if you can take away one thing, if you can take away one thing that I taught you in this episode, it's be excited, be prepared, you know, educate yourself, but also take care of your, your body. Take care of your mind. Take care of your spirit. When you actually do these things, and I know there's people in your office who, you know, you you, you may say like freaking, they look like they, they partied all night, they go out and they close sales. How long do those people last? Okay? I'm not here to teach you how to just close a sale. I'm here to teach you how to close a ton of sales and on top of it, make it last. Make it last for a long period of time because that's how you create wealth. Not so you can go out there and knock on doors for the rest of your life. You want to do that? Great. Go do it. I don't want you knocking on doors for the rest of your life. Everyone at my company who's knocking on doors, I don't want them knocking on doors for the rest of their life. I want them to, to, to get what door-to-door -door sales and my company can give them, which is normally financial success, so that, that they can use those finances to whatever it is they want to do long-term. Or those people that want to grow within the company, build a management position, and then hire other door-to-door -door salespeople and train the new fresh blood coming in so that they can get what they achieved, like myself, that's your recipe to success. So if you just started door-to-door -door sales and you're wondering where does it end, where do I go with it, you have options. But in the meantime, 
Learn how to close sales. You're going to go out there. You're going to feel like, you know, that you're going to get beat up a hundred times over today. Guess what? Who gives a crap how many times you get beat up as long as you go out there and you close your sale. So how are you going to do it? Learn how, learn your opener pitch, learn what your features and benefits are. Get excited, treat yourself with respect. Don't let people just be rude to you. And I'm, I'm not saying be rude back, but don't let people be rude to you and you just absorb it. I, a lot of salespeople, this is what I hear. You know, dude, I'm not interested. Go get a real freaking job. That's why my intro, I think my team just nailed it. They did a phenomenal job with the introduction to this podcast. How freaking awesome is that? As a matter of fact, on iTunes, you know, if you're rating the show, rate rate that, mention that in the comments. I'm going to bring bring your comment on the air. I'm going to we're going to talk about it. So do that, please. I need you to go there. I need you to rate the show. But on top of it, how awesome is it when somebody tells you not interested to not really give a dang, but not just necessarily be rude, but say, don't ever, if somebody tells you, you know what, man, I'm just not interested. Thank you very much. Or, you know, get off my property. What are you doing? Go get a real job. Don't ever say, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm very sorry to bother you. Don't. Are you really sorry that you bothered them? You're out there doing your job. You went and did what I said, like got all your permits, been, you're legal to be there at the door. Why? If someone's rude to you, why do you tell them you're not, you know, I'm sorry, I'm very, I'm very sorry, you know, for, for being, don't, because that builds anger inside you that hurts and affects and it makes you feel like you're doing something wrong at the doors, okay? Unless you truly genuinely mean it, go ahead. But if you truly genuinely mean that, you know, you probably shouldn't be doing door-to-door sales, okay? You need to grow that thicker skin, Door-to-door sales, baby, is going to grow you a thicker skin. And when you grow a thicker skin, what happens to your potential as an entrepreneur? What do you want to do? Do you want to create the next software that, you know, competes with Facebook? I believe in you. If you have that mentality in the back of your head, that idea, and you actually want to do that, go do it. Create it. But it's going to require money. It's going to require education. And door-to-door sales gives you that thick skin so that let's just say you have a product and as a matter of fact, another person who, and all these people, I just keep remembering it as I bring it up. Um, A gentleman told me on the air that he has an uncle who actually has an import company, okay? And he wants to get his his uncle's products to retail stores doing door to door, which is business to business. How awesome is that? You see with retail sales, uh, sorry, with a distribution, you have, let's just say a product that's been, been imported and now you need to get these to the shelves. So you want to go to Walmarts, you want to go to local stores and you want them to sell your product. So what happens is if your product pushes on their shelf, they rebuy from you. That's residual income coming in. And you as the salesperson actually gets a cut of that every time they reorder. If you're, your, your sales structure is set up properly. You should be getting residual on that. Do you know what residual money means? Do you know what it is? And in later podcasts for you owners, I'm going to talk to you about residual income and door-to-door sales and how you can set those things up. Today, I get residual income coming in from many different sources, whether it be Google ads or, you know, it'd be uh, customers that still pay on a monthly basis when, from other businesses that I own. That's, so if I go to the Bahamas tomorrow with my family, I still got money coming in. Now, how does that for you as a door-to-door salesperson going out there and how does that relate to you? You can. Remember, I didn't have that when I first started out. And if you don't have the patience to learn this stuff and you don't have the thick skin to stick in with it, folks, stick in with it. The stat is 90%, 95%, whatever, a super high percent of door knockers quit after their first week or two, even their first month. If you go to see the, the statistics, like boom, 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 it's crazy. I'll draw a graph for you guys. Ridiculous. What does that mean? If you want to be successful, just freaking stick in with it and you will see the results you will get. Super pumped, super excited strategically designed with a door knocker in mind best door knocking tips and advice at door-to-doormastery.com woo, woo, woo. door-to-doormastery.com rick it, rick, rick. yeah 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 so confidence 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 you have to have it go and get your confidence go get it oh paul but how do i get confidence my life i mean i don't have any money coming in i don't got this i don't got that you know if you want to have confidence today Instantly, we're going to do confidence right now in the air. We're going to build your confidence, your self-esteem. I want you to stop and think about right now. Close your eyes. I want you to stop and think about all the good, forget all the negative thoughts that have been, have brought you down and have just mm, smashed your confidence. All those negative things have done this to you. Just, just, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll actually see my 
mm, movements, okay? Every single negative thought that enters your mind just bashes your confidence. And believe me, I know it's hard. I'm not saying this is easy. Life, door-to-door sales is not easy. And until you understand that, until you accept that, you're gonna learn how to get out of it. It's not easy. When life beats you up, it's so hard not to think of that. It's so hard not to feel that pain. Remember, human beings by nature, we want to stir away from pain and we want to move into pleasure. We want to gain. We want to feel better. That's why people drink. That's why people do uh, DRUGS, which sucks and I'm totally against it. I've never done in my life. Doing drugs, people feel that instant gratification, that instant high. It changes that state of mind that that person is in. And when it changes that state of the mind, they feel great. They feel wonderful. And that's why they do it. They don't do it because of the day, the way they feel the next day. And then when they wake up and, oh my God, how do I feel? You know how many people I've actually talked to, unfortunately, in this business that have really been like, you know, my close friends or, hey, how's it going? What's up, man? Dude, you're going to do awesome. Only to know they passed away due to that crap. Why? 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 It's a garbage thing. If you know somebody in, in, the, in, in your life that does that crap, do what you can to get them out of it, okay? It's about building confidence, building self-respect for yourself, okay? You guys and gals out there need to really learn how to build that. Build self-respect for yourself because when you do, I respect what I'm doing and how I'm doing it when I'm knocking on a door. You know, you, I know that I'm looking for people who want to socially engage with me, interact with me. I'm not looking for the person who's like giving me all these like, oh no, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't think about that. I don't let that bother me. All right, see you later. Not even just, okay, I'll, I'll, I just walk away. I couldn't tell you how many times I knock on a door. Yo, well, and, and people are trying to act so super, you know these people, they're trying to act so smart and, yo, yeah, well, I mean, if an alarm did it, well, actually, do you know if you had a cellular device or, you know, um, yeah, well, solar doesn't, yeah, do you know that actually you do end up saving money, so right now, technically, oh, and they're acting all like funny and cool, all right, I'll just walk away, that's it, I'll, I'll literally say, all right, I'll turn them around and I'll walk away, how do they feel at that point? You know, at this point, you, you have self-respect for you. Someone's disrespecting you, don't disrespect them back, but cut it off. Because I'm going to teach you something about life right now and energy in general. If you want to feel better and you want to build your confidence, anything negative that enters your mind, cut it off right away. Why? Because anything you feed energy in life, anything you feed energy in life. You want to get better at knocking on doors? Feed it energy. Feed it this. Po- feed your mind this podcast. Go to my blog. Read it. You will get better. You're feeding it energy and it's going to grow. Anything you feed energy grows. However, if you have a negative thing that enters your mind and then you start thinking about this negative thing and then you start acting upon it, you do dumb things because of this negative thing that happened and you do more dumb things, you're feeding that negative thing energy. What is it going to do? It's going to grow into a bigger issue. How many issues have you, can you think of in your life that started at such a small thing and if you just cut it out and throw it and just let go, it, your, your life would be that much better. However, we tend to hold on to this these things. We tend to feed it more energy and it grows into such a big problem. And at the end of the day, you end up finding yourself in jail just to say for the, for the, for the most part, you know what I'm talking about, a bigger problem. So many people end up that way. Whereas if they would have just left that person, for example, if it's a spouse or if it's a girlfriend, you know, and they're talking about all these negative things, they start fighting and then they start grabbing something and hitting and then the police come and arrest them. It could have all been left. It's not easy, but it could have all been left at the door. If they just, for the love of the Lord, if they just let go and move forward. Door-to-door knocking is for educated people who understand life and business in general. It gets a bad rep because these companies just hire any walk of life who wants to come in and think that they can do door-to-door sales. And, you know, people who just, uh, the companies that just want to sale, never in my company did I ever hire people like that. I hire people who understand what door-to-door sales is about. In my hiring process, I teach my management team to say, why do you want to do you door-to-door sales and do you have a thick enough skin for it are you ready and, ex- and ready for what's to come and this is what's to come you know I don't just hire just anybody what does that do it builds a strong a solid salesperson who's coming in I need you guys to focus your energy and your efforts on just that because when you do and you get excited and you know today you're gonna go out there and you're gonna close a sale hey it's as simple as telling yourself you're going to but then going out there and doing it Make sure you're eating clean foods, healthy foods, you feel great, you're working out in the morning, and you got as much energy as you possibly can. Sleep is very important. I understand you may have a family. I do too. It's kind of hard sometimes, but it's as hard as you make it. Hey, I love you guys, you door knockers. Stick with me, stick with the show, take your business to the next level. You have been listening.
listening to the Door to Door Mastery Podcast. It is time for you to take your door knocking to the next level. Receive Paul's free video series teaching you how to master your opener pitch, understanding your features and benefits, and knowing when and how to close the sale. Be a successful door knocker. Be there now. DoorToDoorMastery.com. That's DoorToDoorMastery.com.